Hey guys, Sebastian here from GreenMusicProductions.com. Today's video is a useful video in my opinion. Uh, I've been asked a lot how to, uh, let's say you have a chorus in your song and you want to double it. Uh, how to do that easily. So I showed you how to remove a certain section of a song in my top 10 tips and tricks video. Uh, so check it out if you haven't seen it. But today I want to show you how to do the opposite and I will also show you how to create and use a macro. Uh, usually to do that, what I would do, uh, there's a couple of ways to do this, but usually I would select everything and I would split everything where my cursor is, then I would select everything after the cursor. I would move it, let's say my chorus is uh, four bars, I would move it four bars to the right and then I would copy the chorus and move it there, uh, duplicate it there if you want. Um, but there's an easier way to do that and it's by using macros. Since there's a couple of functions involved, we can create a macro to do that automatically. So to create a macro, you have to go under File, Key Commands. Now this is the regular Key Commands window and to show uh, the macros, you have to click the Show Macros button right here and yours might not uh, be as crowded, um, probably uh, you probably only have the Cubase default macros there, but to create a new one you have to click on new macro and now you can name it, I'm just gonna name it um, split to move, you can name it whatever you want. So now we can select the functions on the upper part and add them to the macro. So uh, first, what I'm going to do is uh, search for select all because the first thing we need to do is select everything in the session. Um, so I think it's going to be named select all. Yep, uh, this is the one right here. Now what you have to do is click on add command. So the select all I've been added to the split to move. Now we need to split at cursor. I'm pretty sure it's uh, named that way. I'm just gonna write split at cur. If you're not sure of a function name, you can always write what you think and then press plus a couple of times to try to find it. Um, split at cursor. This is the one I'm looking for, so I'm just gonna click add command. So now Cubase is gonna select all the events split at cursor and now we need to select everything after the cursor so um select from i think it's select from cursor to something so let's just try to find it select from cursor to end that's what we're looking for so let's add this uh, and you can also add if you want, you don't have to, but I like to switch the grid to grid relative to make sure if I split somewhere that is not exactly on the grid, it's still going to rely on the grid but not move it perfectly. So uh, let's add that. Um, grid relative. Let's just try to, yep, that's the one. So add command and now we have four functions in our macro. Um, that's what we need. So uh, now we just need to assign a keyboard shortcut to it. To do that, you need to find your macro on the upper part. So let's close every folders here and search for macros. Uh, there's the macro folder and the new macro we just created is right here, split to move. So now what we need to do is assign a keyboard shortcut to it if we want to use it flawlessly in our session. So to do that, you, you select it and you click on the type in key. And I'm going to try Control, Shift and R. Oh, as you can see, it's not assigned to anything. So I can just click on Assign. And now my new macro is assigned to Control, Shift, R. Let's try it right now. Um, let's say I want to split at 80 and move two bars, everything two bars on the right. So let's try our new macro. It just select everything, split at cursor, then selected what's on the right part of the cursor and switch to grid relative. So that's amazing. Four functions and one keyboard shortcut. So now I can just move it. So let's say we want to copy everything that's after there. I can use the exact same command. 
Uh, or what we can do actually is use what I showed you in my other video and my top 10 tips and tricks video to use the range selection tool. Hold control and shift to select the whole session. Now, for some reason in Cubase 8.5, there's a bug. It's not going to snap the grid anymore. It's not like that in Cubase 8. So what you can do is just uh, release it anywhere, switch to grid and tweak it so it's snapping perfectly to the grid. And now you can hold Alt and grab it and move it right there. So let's say this was my course. I just duplicated it. So it's not, it's there twice. I moved everything to the right and it also includes automation. So you're not messing with automation and you're not breaking anything in your session. It's really easy and fast once you have that macro working. So I highly recommend you to use macros to do different things, play with them. It's really amazing. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. I just want to tell you guys that if you ever need any mixing or mastering services, feel free to send me an email. Some people are intimated by uh, my rates, but I really enjoy working with uh, musicians, with creative people. So if you have a certain budget, send me an email with uh, your budget and uh, maybe a preview of your song and if I like your music and I have time I might do it for your budget so feel free to ask me if you want and I'm always happy to listen to what you guys are doing so uh, I hope you enjoyed that video if you did please click that like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber thank you all for watching and see you in the next video bye guys